Hi, Mercat. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Looks like the rubber duckies are having lots of fun. Lots of muddy fun. Yes, the rubber duckies are splish splashing in a mud bath. But now playtime is over and it's time to clean up. Oh, fish scales. It looks like I've run out of soap. That's okay. I'll make some more to clean the duckies. <gasps> Would you like to help me make soap bars? Three bars are better than one. Yeah. We'd love to. It's my first time making soap. Well, you're in for a spa-tastic surprise. It's not just any soap. It's a kitty soap bar made from a bubble bath mixture. Ooh, kitty soap. I can't wait. Let me show you how. You'll need measuring cups, bubble bath soap, cornstarch, soap coloring, and a cookie cutter. Measure a half cup of bubble bath soap and one cup of cornstarch into a microwave-safe bowl. Then mix both ingredients together. Ask an adult to help you put the bowl in a microwave and heat it up for 30 seconds. Then mix again. Dump the mixture out onto parchment paper and knead the mixture until it feels like dough. Like pizza dough? Or bread dough? Yes, exactly! And if it still feels sticky, add a bit more cornstarch to it. Oh, now it's time to color your soap. But first, put on gloves so the color doesn't stain your hands. Then divide your soap into pieces based on how many colors you want to make. I see the colors pink, blue, green, and yellow. How many colors is that? Pink, blue, green, and yellow. Four! That's four colors. So we need to divide our soap mixture into four pieces. Add a different color to each piece. Then knead the color in until it's fully combined with your soap dough. Now squish your soap balls together. And then roll out with a rolling pin. Squishing the different colored soap balls together creates a tie-dye effect. It's time to cut out our shapes. Let's use this kitty cutter to make our kitty soap bars. Cute. And I love how the soap is more than one color. Let the soap dry on a flat surface for 24 hours. That means after a full day, your kitty soap bars will be ready. We each have a kitty soap bar for us to clean a rubber ducky. Time to get clean, duckies. Bubble up, it's sudsy time. <laughs> Twinkling tide pools, you three are so squeaky clean now. We still have soap. Are there any muddy prints left? Do you see any muddy prints? Here's one on the floor. Here's a muddy print. Do you see any more muddy prints? Just one more on the wall. <laughs> Thanks for your help. We did it! Fishtail 5! Yeah! Woohoo! Thanks to a meowsing kitty soap bars. Next time I'm going to make a soap bar that looks like my face! <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Here's the sugar you asked for. What are you making? Hi, Cakey! We're about to make a special scrub for our spa party. It's going to be a spa-tastic day. I'll put the sugar over here with the other sugar scrub ingredients. Thank you. Now we have everything to make our spa sugar scrub. Sugar, coconut oil, mint leaves, and... <gasps> What is it, Murcat? I forgot the lemons! We could make the sugar scrub without them, but lemons smell so fresh and spot-tastic! Pandy and I can get lemons from the fairy tale garden. Oh, that would be wonderful! To the fairy tale garden! La, la, la. 
<laughs> Hi, Kitty Fairy. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. It's another flowerific day in my garden. That's great to hear, Kitty Fairy. Could we have some lemons to make a sugar scrub for Mercat's spa party? Of course. The fruit trees are just over there. Thanks, Kitty Fairy. Here are the fruit trees. Hmm, which one is the lemon tree? Do you know which tree is the lemon tree? Lemons are yellow. Is this the lemon tree? No, this is an apple tree. The apples on it are red. Is this a lemon tree? No, this is an orange tree. And oranges are orange. So, which tree is the lemon tree? You're right! This is the lemon tree! Yeah! Got it! Great jump, Pandy! Let's take these back to Mercat! Woohoo! You found lemons! Now we can make our lemon mint sugar scrub! Here's how we make it! Combine half a cup of sugar with a quarter cup of coconut oil and stir. The lemon peel smells the most lemony. If you want to smell like a fresh lemon, add some lemon peel to the mixture. It into our hands. It feels so good. Ooh, it smells so good too. Now let's rinse it off. Our skin will feel super soft. And then close the jar lid tight for the spa party later. I'm ready for the spa party. It smells so fresh in here. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining lemons. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Thanks for making shimmering sand shacks with me. I'm so excited. It's going to be a sensational day. Of course. I want to build a sand shack as tall as me. How do we start? I've got three shimmering potions here. I want to try out on our sand. What do they do? They turn the sand into different glittering colors. Do you want to see? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <gasps> Pink sand! Okay, Gabby, you try the next potion. What color do you think it will be? Let's find out. Blue sand! Now it's Pandy's turn. I have my potion bottle right here. Whoa! <laughs> you can make magic shimmering sand at home, too! All it takes is a little spa science! Woohoo! <laughs> Start by mixing five scoops of craft sand with three scoops of cornstarch. Once those are fully mixed together, then add one scoop of cooking oil. 
Mix it until you don't feel any oily or dry spots. Add in a half scoop of glitter and mix it in to get that shimmery look. And you're done! Do the same for the other colors of sand. our shimmering sand shacks. Ooh, can we build one tall one together? That's a whale of an idea. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready to build now. If we want our shack to be as tall as you, Pandy, then we need a big, solid base. Which sand is the biggest pile? That's right, blue. I'll use the blue sand to make the base. We're out of blue. What color's next with the bigger pile? Pink. That looks amazing. Oh man, it's almost as tall as me. Almost. Is there any sand left? Only some purple sand. We haven't figured out how to get the sand shack as tall as you yet. But let's think some more. <gasps> I have an idea. Oh. Ta-da! Cat ears. It's a sand shack of the dollhouse. Here, I'll give it eyes. Boop, boop. I'm as tall as the dollhouse. Oh, Pandy. <laughs> 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 Cupcakes in the box. Pie in the box. Cake. Cake? Oh, sprinkles! I forgot to decorate this cake! Hi, Cakey. Can we help you bring the treats to Mercat's spa party? Gabby! I forgot to decorate the cake! We can help with that! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, let's decorate. We want to make the cake look like a beach. An ocean theme? Mercat's gonna love that. How can we get started? We need to dye some of this white icing blue, like ocean water. Is this the right blue? Yeah, that's my food coloring. Squirt in the color and mix it in. You can decorate a cake like this too. We'll show you how. First, set out all your ingredients. Scoop some white icing out and save for later. Then squirt the blue food coloring and stir into the icing until it's all mixed in. <laughs> Spread the blue icing all over your cake. So it will look like the ocean? You got it. Next, you'll need a jar of blue edible glitter. <laughs> What's that for? To give the ocean shimmer and sparkle. This shimmers like Mercat sea scales. <laughs> what? You have blue icing on your ear. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> now we make sand colored icing with yellow dye to make it really look like a beach. Oh no, I don't have yellow. How are we going to make our cake look like a sandy beach? <laughs> That's okay, Cakey. We haven't figured it out. Yet! Let's have a look around and see what you have that we could use instead. Let's check the fridge! Hmm, cucumbers, carrots… A jar of leftover pizza sauce… Hey, what's that on top of the fridge? Graham crackers! Ooh! Mashed up graham crackers could be our sand! How do we make them into sand? You put them into a bag and squish them into crumbs. 
Are you ready to squish with us? Make sure your bag is sealed shut. Then squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish. <laughs> squish and scrunch. Squish, squish and, and scrunch. scrunch. Once it's crumbly like sand, sprinkle it on one side of the cake. Just a few more ocean touches. Let's use the leftover white icing to make waves in the blue water icing. And then we can add a little paper umbrella decoration. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's beachful. Whew. Thank you for helping me. Kiki, do you have any cucumbers for the spa party? I ran out of cucumber slices for our eyes. Oh, this looks like my favorite beach. Surprise, Mercat! A wave of applause for another fabulous dessert creation. It looks like Mercat's favorite beach and tastes like sweet sunshine. <laughs> okay, who's ready to bake you with cakey and make their personalized pizza cat pie? Me! Yummy! Mmm! I can't wait! Hey, what's this? Is this a special topping? That's a special ingredient, Cat Rat! Kitty Fairy gave it to me! It makes everything it touches bigger! Cool! I just want to take a sniff! <coughs> this lid's hard to get off! <coughs> Whoa! That's a big tomato! How are we going to make pizza with all these big ingredients? I know how! Ho ho ho! <laughs> Whoa! Yay! <laughs> We're going to be big, too! Whoa. Oh, it will be fun to be this size for a while! Now we can make our big pizzas! Yay! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Let's start by rolling out our dough into kitty faces. You can also spin and toss your pizza dough in the air to stretch it out. <laughs> Tail flip! What's next, Cakey? Spread out your sauce. I'm using tomato sauce, but you can make whatever sauce you like. White garlic sauce for me. I'll use barbecue. Pesto is perfect for me. I'll smother mine in hot sauce. Hacha! Next, spread a layer of cheese all over and cover with whatever toppings you want to eat. Because we're making pizza cats, we'll make the toppings look like a cat face. Oh, wow! Yummy! No cheese for me, thanks. Ooh! in the oven. Ooh, I'm almost done! What kind of pizza did you make, Murka? A pizza that looks like a cat and a fish. See? Ooh, I bet it will taste as amusing as it looks. And you know what comes next? We get to eat it! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! Mm. That was so good! <laughs> oh, amazing! <laughs> Looks like the time's up on the big magic. 
I hope everyone saved room for dessert. Because surprise, I made dessert pizza. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Cakey. It's so cute. I'll just add some hot sauce to mine. Yeah, rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rat. <laughs> Once we make our superhero capes and superhero masks, we'll be ready to fly. Yeah! Super Pandy to the rescue! And I've got super bubbles! Like I always sing, when you're stuck and you've got trouble, bubble, bubble, bubbles! And Super Baby Box will craft our way out of any problem! Okay, how do we make the capes and masks? Let's get crafting! First, use your safety scissors and cut towards the top of your cape on each of the long sides of the fabric. Then, cut half a circle out at the top of the cape. That's how you can fit it behind your neck. Now, put a piece of sticky Velcro on each side. For your mask, cut out the shape you want. First, draw out your mask. I'm doing a rectangle shape. Use safety scissors to cut out your mask. Then, cut out the two circles for your eyes. Then, hole punch a hole on each side of the mask. Knot some elastic. Thread it through the holes. And you're done! We did it! I made my cape and mask pink. I chose orange for mine. I went with the color green for my costume. And my cape and mask are blue. Now we're ready to save the day. Shimmering sea scales, that was quite a breeze. Is everyone okay? Yeah, just blown around is all. Our superhero costumes got jumbled up. Well, let's sort them out. We can do it. There's your green cape, Murkat. Super. Now where could my green mask be? Do you see Meerkat's green mask? There it is! Spotacular! Thanks for your help! I found the orange and blue capes. The pink mask is mine, so the blue mask is for... Me! I made a blue costume! I remember now! Baby Box, you found my pink cape! I did? Oh yeah, I guess I did. I'm still missing my orange mask! Let's look! Mmm, not here. I wore an orange superhero mask, where would I be? Look! Up on the ceiling! Of course! Up high! Flying like a superhero! It must have gotten some glue on it and got stuck! I can't reach it! I can't be a superhero without my mask! What? No! You are Super Pandy! We all are! Let's get that mask! But how? We built some stairs. Grab a box. And then we flip them over and stack them up and get that mask. <gasps> we have a superhero mission now. <laughs> Crafting is the work of superheroes. All ready. Here I go! Super Pandy is back in action! Thanks, fellow superheroes, for your help! The superheroes saved the day again! Let's suit up! Yay! We have some super friends, yeah. don't we? Pandy, I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Cakey. You needed our help with something? Yes, we're counting down to New Year's Eve, and I still need to make confetti cookies for tonight's party. Confetti? You can't eat confetti. Not that 
kind of confetti. It's sprinkles hidden inside a cookie. Surprise confetti cookie! I love surprises. We'll help you make the cookies, Cakey. <laughs> Hooray! Let's bakey with Cakey. But first, roll out the cookie dough. You need three layers of cookies. We need to cut out the same size circles. Yeah! Cookie cutting! You can cut them out, Pandy. <laughs> Woohoo! Before we bake these cookies, we take our smaller circle cookie cutter and cut out a hole in the middle of the bigger circle. Like a donut! Yeah! And now we bake these cookies. Once they're baked and cooled from the oven, we can assemble our New Year confetti cookies. The normal cookie goes on the bottom, and the donut-looking cookie goes on top of that one. Stick them together with white icing. Then put sprinkles in the middle. The sprinkles are my favorite part. Mine too. Pour some sprinkles into the hole in the middle. And then seal in the sprinkles with another cookie. And now we can decorate the top layer. I'm just using white icing so I can use my colorful icing to decorate once it's dry. Draw whatever you want on top of the icing. I'll decorate mine to look like a party hat. Look at that! I love fireworks on New Year's, so I'm going to decorate my cookie to look like fireworks. Uh, meowzing! Mine's going to have party streamers and confetti! Terrific! Woohoo! Yay! And that's how you make confetti cookies! I can't wait to break open the cookie when we count down to the new year! Let's make a few more for all our friends! Great idea! Everyone will get a surprise! Yay! Yay! New Year's Eve is the best! Ha cha! Time to celebrate! It's time for the countdown! Does everybody have their confetti cookie? I have mine right here! Yum! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh boy! Delicious! Very fantastic! Count down to the new year with us! 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 7 6, 6, 5, 4, 4 3, 2, 1! Happy New Year! Oh. Confetti wow. Cookie Sprinkle Party! I am jamming to this New Year's surprise! <laughs> Thank you for letting me, Pandy, and Baby Box camp out in your garden, Kitty Fairy. You're welcome, Gabby. It's fun to stargaze with friends. Let's lie down and look up at the sky. Wow! Look at all the stars. They sparkle in the sky like glitter. Ooh. Awesome! So pretty. Oh no, I can't see the stars through the clouds. I guess that's the end of our stargazing. We can still stargaze by making our own stars. What do you mean by that, Baby Box? Come with me to the craft room. To the craft room! Ooh, star -tastic. How do you make stars? I'll show you. Let's get crafting. For this craft, all you need is a flashlight or any light source, a hole puncher or pencil, and a piece of paper. I want to use a black piece of paper to look like the night sky. My hole puncher has a star shape, but any hole punch will do. Wowzers! Flowerific! Ooh! Potastic! Um, you can even use a pencil to poke holes in your paper. Make the holes wherever you like. It's supposed to look like a night sky full of stars. In a lit room, hold your paper and shine your flashlight down over it. Do you see the shadow stars on the table? You can shine your shadow stars on a wall or ceiling. If you want your stars to be bright, then turn off all the lights in the room and hold your flashlight close to your paper. Then the light will shine through your stars and you've made a starry night sky. 
Let's try out our craft by shining our flashlights through the paper and onto the walls of the room. All right, stargazers, let's give it a go. Let's turn our flashlights on at the count of three. One, two, three. Yay! Shadow stars. Yay! It worked! We're superstars. <laughs> Thanks for helping us stargaze on a cloudy night, baby box. Hey, look! Doodles and doodads, a shooting star! Whoa! It's a shower of shooting stars! Ooh! We saw stars in two very amazing ways! And this sleepover gets a gold star! Good night! Bye! <gasps> look! <laughs> <This is fun. laughs> Hi, baby box! Gabby, hi Candy, would you like to make a craft with me today? Yes, actually, we're hoping you have a crafty, rific bookmark idea that we can make together. I want to save my place in this possum book. Pom poms and polka dots, I know how to make a bookmark. Fantastic! Let's get crafty. To get started, we need an index card, glue stick, safety scissors, colored pencils, and stickers, or any other decorations you might want to use. How should we decorate them, baby box? Any way you want. I'm definitely going to use these googly eyes. First, we'll cut our index cards in half so they're long and skinny, like a bookmark. Then draw your design. <laughs> I'm going to make a pandy bookmark. For the googly eyes. You just need a dot of blue to glue your googly eyes on. Be sure to let it dry. <laughs> That's a funny face. For my bookmark, I'm going to cover it in lots of stickers. I'm going to decorate my bookmark in rainbow colors with colored pencils. The colors of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. my favorite color. Now we're ready to give our bookmark a ribbon tail. Take your hole punch and punch a hole at the top of the bookmark. Slip a piece of ribbon through the hole and glue the ends of the ribbon together. Now I can take a break from reading whenever I want. And not lose your place. Now, cats and kittens, Pandy Paws <laughs> will attempt to save the place in his book with his brand new bookmark! 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 Okay, hold still, everyone! Here I go! It worked! <laughs> 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 Baby box? Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. What are you making? <laughs> I made a kitty face out of buttons. Amazing! Wow. I glued the buttons onto the paper plate and... Oh, no! There's supposed to be a button on the kitty's cheek. The button must have fallen off somewhere. We'll help you look for it. Yeah! Thank you. Oh, I know a way to help you look. 
I decorated the kitty using two of each color of button. So the colored button without a match will be the color to look for. That is helpful, Baby Box. So let's see which buttons have matches on the kitty craft. Will you help us find the matches too? Here's a blue button. Do you see another blue button on the kitty's face? There's the other blue button. Okay, so blue has a match. What about green? Like this button here. Let's find a matching green button. The other green button is right here. Maybe a yellow button is missing. Do you see two yellow buttons? Here and here. What color should we look for next? How about purple? Here's a purple button. Do you see a match? Oh, a hair on the ear! We're really good at matching buttons, but which button color could be missing? Did you use orange buttons, Baby Box? Yes! Let's try to find two orange buttons. Do you see them? One and two. Let's try the color pink next. Here's a pink button. Do you see a matching pink button? There's no match. Oh, that must mean a pink button is missing. That's right. I was going to paint white whiskers on it. Now we know what to look for. Let's search the craft room and find that missing pink button. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not here. Oh, snippets. Hmm, that's not it. Hmm, not here either. Oh boy. You gotta be kidding me. Hmm, not here. We still haven't found it. Yet. We still haven't found it yet. But we're not giving up. Do you see the pink button anywhere? It's over here! <laughs> we found it! Yay! Now I can glue it back onto my kitty craft! Thanks for helping us! Hey, Baby Box! Can we make a kitty face out of buttons too? Sure! Let me show you how to do it! Draw your kitty face on your paper plate! to glue your buttons onto the kitty using whatever color buttons you want. I used white buttons for the eyes and nose to help it stand out. Once your glue dries, then paint on the whiskers and the kitty smile. your button kitty's face. Oh, yowzy. Look at that. crafty -rific. My button kitty looks just like me. Button kitty hug attack. Hey, <laughs> 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 Kiki. Oh, hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. We want to make a sweet treat to bring to Kitty Fairy's garden party, but we're not sure what to make yet. Ooh, I know the perfect snack for a garden party. Dirt cake. Dirt cakes? It's not real dirt. It's chocolate pudding cups with crushed cookies on top. And we can even add some gummy worms. Come on, I'll show you how to make them. Oh, now you're talking. Let's do it. You can wear my hat, Pandy. Ha, <laughs> thanks. To make dirt cakes, first, you'll need to put the pudding in the cup. In the cup, in the cup, with a scoop and a scoop and a scoop the loop. <laughs> crush the cookies, crush the cookies, crush them up, crush, 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 crush. crush. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> I can confirm it is possum. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get these to the fairy tale garden. Beep beep. Need some help? Yay, Carlita! Yay, Carlita! Carlita! Yes, we're on our way. And up we go. Wow, horrific! You're here. This is going to be the best garden party ever. Oh wow! Are those for the party? Yeah. Wait till you try these dirt cakes! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie! Beep beep! Meow meow! These dirt cakes really get my motor running! Thanks for making my garden party very rhythmic! You're welcome, kitty fairy! Aww! Aww. <laughs> Yay! What delicious food are you making today, Cakey? I was just about to make a five-layer kitty bean dip. That's five layers of yum! I can show you how to make it. We'd love to learn. And you can make it with us, too. All right! Let's bakey with Cakey! Yeah! Woohoo! First, set out all your ingredients. For this dip, you'll need a can of beans. I'm using refried beans, guacamole, shredded cheese, I'm using a Mexican cheese blend, a jar of salsa, and a container of sour cream. To make the kitty face, you'll need a can of olives, a red bell pepper, and some pretzel sticks. Once we have all our ingredients laid out, we're ready to make our layer dip. I'm going to start with the can of beans. You'll need a glass bowl or a dish, and a spatula for spreading everything. I've got my spatula. Spread the beans all along the bottom of your bowl. The next layer is green. You know what it is? Guacamole. You got it. Spread the guacamole on top of the bean layer. You can see the two layers if you look at the side of the dish. Let's keep going. More layers. The next layer is cheese. Sprinkle it on. It's a cheesy kind of sprinkle party. The salsa layer is next. I like seeing the different colors stack up. Brown, green, yellow, red. And the color white, since the next layer is sour cream. Mmm, I'm getting hungry. Have we almost finished making the dip? Almost. Once you've spread on your sour cream layer, then you make the kitty face. I'm using olives for the eyes, a slice of bell pepper for the mouth, two chips for the ears, and pretzels for the whiskers. Terrific! Yum! Aww! It's so cute! Almost too cute to eat! Almost! Hey, cool cats! Hi, Cat Rat! Hi, DJ Catnip! Hi! We heard that someone was making a bean dip. Need any taste testers? It's a five-layer kitty bean dip, and now we have five kitties gathered to eat it! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, cat. Hi, baby box. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Hi, cat rat. Hi, everyone. Hello, cat. Why did you want us to meet in the craft room instead of the bedroom for story time? Because our story involves royalty and magic, which means we need to make amazing crowns and magic wands before we start the story. Wow, that sounds awesome. A craft fit for the royal cat rat. I can help everyone with that. Let's give it a go! All right! Woohoo! Gotcha. <laughs> You'll need construction paper, safety scissors, tape, and markers. For your crown, use your safety scissors to cut a strip of paper to fit around your head. If your paper isn't long enough, tape strips together. To make crown points that stick up, Cut out triangle shapes and tape them to the back of your crown. Lay your crown flat on the table and decorate the front side however you like with markers, crayons, stickers, other shapes. You can use anything. 
secure the ends of the paper strip with a piece of tape so it sits comfortably around your head. Your crown is finished! Doodles and doodads! All our crowns are different colors! It's a royal rainbow! <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to make our magic wands! You'll need a wooden stick! You can paint it whatever color you like! Purple! Orange! Green! Blue! And mine will be pink! Let the paint dry! In the meantime, you can cut out and decorate a shape to glue on the tip of your wand. The shape on the tip of your wand can be anything. A star, a heart, a triangle. I'm going to cut a circle shape and cover it with pom-poms. <laughs> Ooh, I love how soft the pom-poms feel, baby box. They remind me of clouds. I'm going to use white pom-poms for mine. Can I make mine a kitty face? Sure! I have a cat cookie cutter if you need help making the shape. Just trace the cookie cutter and then cut with your safety scissors. Thanks, baby box. Do we have any green paper, baby box? My wand topper is going to be a pickle. Great idea, Pandy. Here's some green paper. Awesome! I'm sticking with a star, but not just any star, a super shiny star. Once you're done decorating and the paint on your wand is dry, you're ready to glue the back of your shape to your wand. And you're finished making your magic wand. This story time is going to be so magical. Cat Rat will rule with super shiny magic. Pandy Pickle Power! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pandy. Thanks for helping us make our crowns and wands, Baby Box. It was my pleasure. I cast Crafty Magic on you, Queen Gabby! Boop! <laughs> 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 Pandy? Oh, Pandy Paws, where are you? <laughs> Do you see Pandy? Hug attack! <laughs> <laughs> Pandy, are you excited about camping out in Kitty Fairy's garden? Yeah, I got my pack all packed up and ready to go. Catastic! Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> Hi, Kitty Fairy! Thank you for letting us camp out in your garden. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. You're very welcome. I hope I brought enough fairy lights to make a fairy campfire for you two tonight. Let's see. All you need is a little garden magic. Ooh. It's a magical rainbow campfire. Thank you, Kitty Fairy. Enjoy, friends. And then, just after the kitties had snuggled in their tents to catnap, they heard a growl! <laughs> that was your tummy, Gabby! <laughs> my stomach is having a snack attack! I brought snackies in my packy to share! Or at least I thought I did! Oh no! I forgot to pack the snacks! You gotta be kidding me! Did someone say snacks? Cakey! I heard you were camping out and wanted to bring you to my favorite camping treat! S'mores! Mmm, we love some! <laughs> Yay! Here are the ingredients. You'll need graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallow fluff. First, break the graham cracker. Then add the chocolate. Then put on the marshmallow. And then graham again. The next step is my favorite. And then you take a bite! Mmm! 
My favorite part. Mm. So then what happened in the story, Gabby? The kitties were tucked in their tents when all of a sudden they heard... What was that? My tummy! I smell s'mores! Snack attack! Come on, Cat Rat. There's enough for everyone. Cat <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Cat> Rat! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Baby Box. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Hi, Cat Rat. What are you making? I'm making a window mosaic. When light shines through it, all the colors light up. What colors? These colorful squares. Can we all make window mosaics? They could be the shapes of the dollhouse windows. Great idea. I'll make a window with cat ears like the one in my craft room. Me too. I'm going to make my window a circle, like the windows in the dollhouse attic. Awesome. I'll make a circle too. Hey, Baby Box, can we use any color squares for our window? Yep. I know what colors I'm going to use. Let's get crafting. Gather your supplies. You'll need black construction paper, colorful tissue paper, safety scissors, your trusty glue stick, and wax paper. Start by cutting your colored tissue paper into small squares. With your trusty glue stick, glue your squares onto the wax paper. While your glue dries, use black construction paper to cut out your window frame. One kitty ear for me! And one for me. Cut a circle for me! And don't forget me! Hold the shape over your tissue paper mosaic and trim off any tissue paper peeking out over the edge. Now make your frame by cutting out the inside of your shape so it makes a border. If you want, cut lines or other designs for the inside to make it look like stained glass. Now glue your frame together. Add more glue to the whole frame. And place your tissue paper mosaic onto your frame. Now flip it over. Once your craft is dry, tape it to a window and let the sun shine through it. Turn off the lights in the room so you can really see the bright colors made from the tissue paper. Oh, Pums and polka dots! Look at our window mosaics! I love how different everyone's tissue paper patterns are. I love my colors on my window. My window is striped! I use blue tissue paper to look like my fur. Ha hey, look! We made the dollhouse windows! I have an idea. Let's actually hang them up in the dollhouse. Ah! Wow, look at that! Ooh. So beautiful! Amusing! Um, that looks great! Wow. It's beautiful! Yay! <laughs> Hi, everyone! Where's Kitty Fairy? She wants to show us something. Here I am! My holiday surprise is this way! Oh, boy! <laughs> Kitty Fairy. Thank you. I'm almost finished decorating the tree. I have just a few more ornaments to hang up top. <gasps> oh, snap dragons. I've run out of ornaments. Maybe we can help, Kitty Fairy. Can the ornaments be anything? We could hang items from the dollhouse on the tree. <gasps> That's a very fantastic idea, Gabby. I have pipe cleaners that we could use as hooks for the ornaments. We'll help find things from the dollhouse, too. More shiny things. Let's give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can start right here in the garden. How about this watering can? That will look flowerific on the tree. Come on, Pandy. Let's go see what the others have found in the dollhouse. We'll be back, Kitty Fairy. See you later. I'll keep searching the garden. DJ Catnip, what did you find? A musical ornament. It's a ukulele. I like your style. Let's go see what Cakey's found. Hmm. Oh, sprinkles. Hi, 
Cakey? Did the kitchen give you ideas for an ornament? Well, I wanted to use my chef's hat, but I can't find it. We'll help you look. What color is the hat, Cakey? Light blue. Do you see Cakey's chef hat? It's on top of the fridge. Oh, I got it. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to hang it on the tree. Let's go check on Mercat. Okay, see you soon, Cakey. Bye. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. I'm going to hang this potion bottle of mine. That's great, Mercat. But before I hang it, I'm going to miss this peppermint scent I've been working on. Hmm, it reminds me of cozy winter nights. And peppermint hot cocoa, all thanks to spa science. Let's make sure Baby Box found the pipe cleaners. See you in the garden, Mercat. Follow the smell of peppermint. Baby Box, you found the pipe cleaners. Yeah, and I made a glitter star to go on top of the tree. Woohoo! Oh, what about this scrap of ribbon? Can we tie bows on the tree? Yes, I've got lots of other ribbon scraps we can use. Yeah, let's go put on all these amusing ornaments. That's the last one! Leaping lilies with a beautiful tree! Hey, where's Cat Rat? I'm here, I'm here! I found all these paper clips and made them into a shiny silver garland. Here, kitty fairy. Ooh, fairy plastic. Woohoo! Thank you, everyone. The tree is so pretty. Now it just needs a little garden magic. <laughs> Magical. It's the most wonderful tree of the year. <laughs> Hi, Cakey. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. We were just outside and spring is here. The plants outside are blooming. The grass is green. The flowers smell sweet. And the birds are singing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cat Rat. Hi, Cat Rat. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Hi, Cakey. What a beautiful spring day. I love springtime. It's my favorite season. I was just making something to celebrate spring. It's right here. You made a bird's nest, Cakey? <laughs> this isn't a real bird's nest, Cat Rat. It's a bird's nest made from treats you can eat. It looks so real. Can you show us how to make one? You betcha. <laughs> yeah. To get started, you'll need two cups of crunchy chow mein noodles, one cup of sunflower butter, three-fourths cups of chocolate chips, and three-fourths cups of butterscotch chips. Ask an adult to help you mix the chocolate chips and butterscotch chips in a microwave-safe bowl and microwave for 20 seconds. Stir it and then microwave again for 20 seconds. Keep doing this until everything's melted. Add your melted ingredients and sunflower butter to the crunchy chow mein noodles. Gently stir until it's mixed together. Now we're ready to make our bird's nest. Spray a muffin tin with oil to help you get the nest out later. A muffin tin helps us make the shape of a bird's nest. So let's scoop some of the mixture into each hole. Be sure to make a little space in the middle. That's where the eggs will go. It can get a little sticky, but that's part of the fun. Just make sure you wash your hands before and after. Now chill in the fridge so it can harden. <laughs> Every bird's nest needs some eggs, so place jelly beans inside each one. And you're done! And there! You have a tasty treat that looks just like a bird's nest. We still need to put jelly bean eggs in ours. Each nest should hold about three jelly bean eggs. Here, Gabby, you go first. My egg colors are going to be a surprise. Will you help me pick my jelly bean egg colors for my nest? 
Here's a hint. My first egg color rhymes with the word bean. Is it blue, pink, or green? Green and bean rhyme, so that is my first jelly bean egg. The second egg will be the same color as cat rat. The color is blue. And the last jelly bean color is... Hmm, I can't think of a clue. Oh, I can do this one. The last color jelly bean egg rhymes with purple. Hacha, you got it, it's purple. Now let's taste our spring sweets. My favorite part. Oh, it's a bird. Aw, it looks like the bird loves your nest too, Cat Rat. Hi, bird. Welcome to your home sweet jelly bean home. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Cat Rat. <laughs> Baby bugs. Hi, Merka. What are you making? Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. We crafted an ocean and are making fishies to swim in it from Cakey's Cupcake Wrappers. Just adding the sparkles. Wow, that's creative. I see you still have a cupcake left over. <laughs> you can have it, Pandy. Um, yum, yum, yum. Mm, yum. Can we craft something sparkly too? Great idea. Let's get crafting. Lots of fish in the ocean. Let's dive in. can get messy. Look at that! And all 
all the fish shimmer in the moonlight. I'm going for a ride on my turtle. Let me clean myself up. Now I'm ready for tea with the shark. I'm in school. Huh? What? School? Swimming with a school of fish? <laughs> <laughs> Hi there! Hello! Hey! Hi, Baby Box! I found these empty picture frames. Can we decorate them? That's a crafty, rific idea, Pandy. Let's get out the crafts. Here's some glue and glitter. And I brought a bag of seashells. How about we decorate the frames with the seashells? Oh, that's a whale of an idea! Crafty, rific! I'll show you how. First, let's spread out all the seashells so we can pick which ones to glue on to our picture frame. <laughs> this is going to be podtastic! Yeah! You can make one too! Craft along with us! Oh, look at all the different types! Ooh, I love the clamshells! I'm going to use these swirly ones and the pointy ones! I'll decorate with the mix of all of them! Me too! Now we're ready to glue them onto our picture frames! Lay out your picture frame, your shells, and some glue. Then glue the shells down in whatever order you like to do. Ooh, this clamshell is so colorful! I want it in the middle of my frame! Look at that! Spotacular! I'm going to use these swirly ones first. A swirly, silly shell. Then a pointy shell. Swirly. Pointy. Swirly. Pointy. Yes! crafty rific. I want all the same shells on the top of my picture frame. And then the big speckled ones on the bottom. This one. This one, this one, and this one! Yay! Fantastic! My shells can go anywhere on my frame! Look at that! Yay! And we're finished! Yay! 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 Ooh, they're shell sensational! I love all the different styles that we crafted! Me too, Bandy! But something's missing! What? Pictures to go in the frame! Of course! I'll get my camera! Let's take a picture together! Say, Cheesy Cat! Cheesy Cat! <laughs> <laughs> Baby box. Hey! Hello! That looks fun. What are you holding? It's a paper airplane. I just made it. Ooh, I'd like to make one of those. Me too. I can show you how. Then we can fly our planes together. Awesome! Let's get crafty. First, fold your paper in half the long way, like this. Lay the paper flat again, and then fold in the top two corners toward the center. Keep going! Fold again in toward the center line on each side, like you're making an upside-down V. Now it's time to fold it in half and lay it down on one side. Take the edge of the paper, that's a wing of your plane. Match the top edge to the bottom and fold the paper. Then flip the plane over and make the wing on the other side. it all together with double stick tape on the inside of your plane. Then decorate! You 
You can also use your safety scissors to cut triangles out of paper and glue them onto the top of your plane to make kitty ears. <laughs> make a fold on the bottom of the triangle and glue that part to the plane so the triangle sticks up. And glue a ribbon to the back to give your kitty plane a tail. <laughs> Look at oh, that! Boy. Lousy. Look at mine sparkle! My paper plane is ready for takeoff! I added colorful kite tails to mine since rainbow is my favorite color. I hope mine flies really far! That black tip on the kitty ear looks just like your ear, Candy. Thanks! The plane was a little hard to make. Sometimes it takes a few tries to make a paper airplane, but practice makes better. Pom poms and polka dots! Let's fly! Yay! Woohoo! Let's give it a go! Ready? Set, fly! Yeah, look at that! Oh, oh, I'll go next! Nice, baby box! Ooh, let's throw ours together, cat rat! Okay, let's count down to take off! Three, Three two, two, one! one. Oh no! My airplane is stuck! This sounds like a job for the cat rat. Hmm. Where did he go? Ha-cha! Here's your airplane, Pandy. Thanks, cat rat. Try throwing it again. Here goes! Wow, look how far it went. Great throw! Yay, Pandy! Woohoo! <laughs> It was so much fun crafting and flying our planes. We hope you can make one too. Bye! Finished it! <laughs> Whoa, baby box! That's spectacular! It's out of this world! What is it? It's a space pop up card I made. Do you all want to make one? Let's give it a go! Yeah! Sure! I can't wait! Fantastic! Let's get crafting! You'll need two sheets of paper for the card. I used black to look like space. We're also going to need safety scissors and all kinds of colorful paper, markers, glitter, and your trusty glue stick. You had me at the word glitter. Fold the two sheets of paper for your card in half, sandwich style, like this. Yum! Sandwiches are delicious! Terrific! Space is sparkly with all the stars, so I put glitter on one of my papers. Rub your glue stick onto the paper and then sprinkle the glitter on. With your other pieces of colorful paper, you can draw and then cut out whatever shapes you like. I like stars! All kinds! Big and small! I'm going to draw myself as an astronaut, Gabby the Space Explorer. Oh, and I'm gonna need a rocket ship. crafty -rific. I'll draw the spaceship I was in that time it flew out of the dollhouse. crafty -rific. Once the glue is dry on our glittery paper, we can close the card and then cut little slips on the folded side, like this. Pull the slits of paper out a little and crease them so they fold down inside the card. Next step, rub glue on the blank side of your cut paper and stick it to the new folded piece of paper. But don't put glue on the slits. Now you're ready to glue the decorations onto the bottom of your folded slits. When you open your card, your shapes will pop up. Woohoo! <laughs> I love how mine turned out. Wow, it really looks like I'm flying through space. It's quiet in space. 
perfect for the best cat naps. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another thing we can do with the pop-up cards. What's that, baby box? Turn off the lights and tell space stories with our cards with flashlights. Ooh! Awesome! Oh, oh, oh. More shiny, me likey! A star shoots through space. Space is a mysterious place ready to be explored. So, astronaut Gabby hops into a rocket ship and lifts off. Shoom! She zooms around all the planets and discovers a galaxy of twinkling, sparkly stars. The stars give her stardust so she can travel wherever she wants. And along the way, she runs into Cat Rat in his spaceship, and she gives him some of that much-needed shiny stardust. Because even in space, shiny is miney. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Cat Rat is ready to explore the galaxy with Gabby right after another cat nap. Oh, Cat Rat. <laughs> <laughs> DreamWorks Gabby's Dollhouse. Yeah.